Moodle dashboard. Once you log into Moodle, you'll land on your dashboard, which is completely customizable. One of the elements on the dashboard that you will probably use most is the course overview block. In your course overview, you can filter courses by showing all of them, courses that are currently in progress, future courses or past courses. For example, when you are in the summer semester and you want to display only winter semester courses. You can also star courses to show your favorite courses or remove them from view. To do that, you click on the three buttons next to any course, then you choose to star this course or remove them from view. Remember if you remove them from view in case you cannot find them again. You can also filter courses by course name, short name or the ones that you accessed last. Just for information, this is the course name, this is the course short name and this is the category in which the course is placed in. You can also choose to display the course overview differently. For example, by clicking on this, you can choose to display them as a list or as a summary. You can also customize this page by adding new blocks, removing existing blocks or move them around. Let's give a quick overview on the default blocks. The essential links will display links that we think you will use most but they are also accessible on the top here. The timeline is mostly useful for students that will display the most recent assignments and the deadlines. Your private files area is here, which is an area where you can upload any files that are visible only to you. The calendar is similar to the timeline, except that it will display other deadlines. To add blocks or remove them, you click on customize this page. One of the blocks that I like adding is the global search. To add a block, you scroll down until you see add a block. You click on add. And now I want to add the global search. Any block that you will add will be placed on the bottom right hand side of the page. If you want to move the block, for example, on the top here, you can click on the cross, hold the mouse button down, scroll up and then place it where you want it to be. You can also click on the cross and then choose where you want to display it. For example, I want it to be displayed again under calendar, so I click on calendar. And if I scroll down, it is placed again under calendar. The global search box is not only useful to search for courses, but if you click on advanced search, you can filter by anything that is on the course, any activity, any file, or even any course section. Let's say I want to search for a specific file. I scroll down, I choose file, and then I enter my keyword there. To go back to the dashboard, you can click on dashboard. If you want your dashboard to look the way it was because you deleted something that you didn't want to, you can click on reset page to default which will take a few seconds to reset. If you have further questions, please don't hesitate to ask your Moodle administrator.